Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Victoria. This is Radiant Moon Tarot. We're bringing forth timeless messages from your guardian angels today. These readings here are for all Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. By the nature of these readings, they are timeless. So whenever this reading happens to find you is exactly when it's meant to. Let's see which guardian angel, thank you, is stepping forth in a very explosive way um, right off the bat for you. And we've got the angel of encouragement, okay? So the angel of encouragement flying out of the deck, cheering you on in the most wonderful of ways, okay? You may be looking to make some change. You may have something new that you're looking to start, okay? Or maybe you're just starting to feel oh, a little bit frustrated that things aren't quite going your way or you're you're just feeling a little bit of lack of energy. Your, your guardian angel of encouragement is cheering you on on the sidelines there, okay? Lifting you up when you feel that lack of energy. Um, cheering you on when you reach that finish line. Lifting you up when you falter. Your angel is encouraging you every single step of the way to make change, to start something new, to do something exciting, to follow your dreams and your goals, and will be with you right until the end, right from from the start right till the end and beautiful energy here for you okay so this is this card is known as my little 1111 card out of this particular deck because it is number 11 okay and we have the on this person's if you can see it on she's running a marathon and on her little chest uh, thingy whatever it is the sticker is also number 11 and 11 11 is quite often representing your wishes your goals your dreams okay so your your guardian angel is encouraging you to get started keep going and um, is uh, really excited for everything that you do so in those times when you are feeling a little bit stuck or down or you're not sure where to where to start okay or you just need that little extra uh, energy boost okay call in your angel of encouragement let's see what else we've got here for you guys we've got the two of cups the Three of Cups. Wow, you've got quite the cheering section. And the Four of Swords. Okay, so that is really awesome, awesome energy that's coming in there for you. The Two of Cups is things are coming together for you. Okay, so if you're already, if you're already on your way and you are off to the races and you're making change or you're doing new things or you're making those improvements in your life, no matter how big, no matter how small, Okay, things are coming together for you in the most positive of ways. The two of cups can also represent you coming into alignment with your higher self to know what it is you want, what or where do you want to see yourself and what changes do you need to make, but you're all in balance, in alignment, in harmony, okay, with yourself here. Now there could also be perhaps success in collaborating with other people. The two of cups is quite often those partnerships, the friendships, the romantic partnerships there. So, you know, if you, if you are single looking for love, those doors are opening for you right now and spirit, your spirit angels guides, they don't want you to give up. They want you to keep the positive vibe, the forward momentum. Okay. Because they are sending you a wonderful, deep spiritual connection. Okay, this is something that you've wanted, something with the Four of Swords that you have manifested in. Your prayers have been answered, they have been heard, and there is someone on the way. This can also represent friendships, right? So maybe there's a new friend that's coming into, um, into your realm, okay? A business partnership, okay? Partnerships of all kinds with the Two of Cups. This can also be you reconnecting with people or just having a cheering squad. Um, the Three of Cups is here as well, okay? So you might have more support than you actually give yourself a little bit of credit for because um, you have one hell of a cheering section, okay? So um, the Three of Cups can certainly 
certainly represent that there's some good news along the way, okay? There's some imminent good news here. And this is your angels cheering you on. Now, the Three of Cups can represent your spiritual soul tribe, okay? They're all here. They're all um, very excited for you and for what you're creating and for what's to come, okay? But this can also be your um, social soul tribe, shall we say, in your 3D and they are giving you that encouragement um, as well, okay? Um, I think here that perhaps you, um, sometimes there's safety in numbers, but there's also um, the people who love us do tend to want the best for us, right? They want us to be happy. They want us to follow our goals and our dreams. And it feels like here that, you know, you do have some supportive people around you, okay? So share your goals, share your dreams, share your vision with them. Sometimes we don't do that because we think that, you know, maybe someone will tell us that we're crazy for doing something or for trying something or for making change, okay? Or, you know, we're embarrassed that we want something that someone else has or you know it's like I want love in my life but other people have it so I don't want them to feel bad that I don't have it you know that kind of thing right so you know but there may be someone there that you can open up to in a positive way but it feels like here really things are coming together for you with the two of cups okay the three of cups right there's joy there's celebration there's success ahead for you okay this is also your your angels cheering you on from the sidelines and with the four of swords there is an element of peace and rest and serenity that comes in here with this one okay so keep on going and now is not the time to rest the time to rest will come after you have um, reached your goal or you have at least gotten something off the ground because if there's something new here right know what you want when the time is right, you know it. There may be some support and some help from friends. And then the Four of Swords, we need to remain, um, how should we say, put our worries and our fears aside and just do what our heart tells us to do. Follow our heart, follow our intuition. Trust that you're on the right journey. Trust that you're on the path to success. The Four of Swords is one of inner peace, peace of mind. It's a very calm energy. It can be one of whew, finally taking a break and taking a rest, but it is one where we're open. We're open to receive the messages. We're going with the flow. And it's also one of meditation. So meditation may bring answers, okay, especially if you want to connect with your angels. All right, um, but this is a very calm, lovely vibe. And look at the progress, okay? Wow, this is so cool. We start out with the angel of encouragement, card number 11, or 1111, if you want to read the, uh, the, the plate on her chest. Okay, so we've got the ones. Then we've got the two, then we've got the three, and then we've got the four. One, two, three, four. Don't give up on your goals and your dreams, okay? You can achieve and accomplish whatever it is that you set your mind to. Keep a positive outlook, keep it a positive mind, stay calm, stay at peace, know when to take action, know when to allow, and you will get to where you wanted to get to, okay? Wow, progress, okay? And that is beautiful energy. Let's pull some more cards see what else we've got here for you guys. I think there's something magical up your sleeve. You are creating something very interesting, very wonderful. For some of you, you just got some little things that you want to do. For others of you, there's some big life-changing events um, that are unfolding before your eyes. Thank you. And we have the sun. Yes. We like having the sun. The sun is a wonderful energy. The Ace of Cups. Look at that. Okay. New friends, um, new love, uh, new partnerships, new everything. Okay. But this also improvements coming in there for you. A little bit of luck. Beautiful. Page of Pentacles. New job, maybe. And the Page of Wands. Look at all this new energy that's coming in here for you. Okay. This is awesome. Now, huh. Okay, you have probably the most uplifting reading that I have done so far. And you are number what? Eight? Nine. You are number nine. Okay. And look at it all. I mean, the two of cups. 
beautiful energy. The Three of Cups, woohoo, celebration. The Four of Swords, nice and calm and peaceful and wonderful, ready to receive the sun, the happiest energy in the entire deck. Okay, the Ace of Cups, happy, joy, peace, wonderful, love, harmony, balance, you name it. Balance coming in with the Two of Cups. The Page of Pentacles, a gift, some opportunity, something, some knowledge. The Page of Wands, exciting times ahead for you. So this is beautiful. This is your time to shine. And this is your time to find your path to success, to be excited about what the present moment holds and what the future holds. This is a time for you to create, to stay positive, to maintain your wonderful level of optimism, but also to get to where you want to go. Stay positive, stay optimistic. This is a time of abundance, creation, and growth for you. If you want new love, new happiness, new joy, just open your heart. The Ace of Cups is here. The Aces come in as a gift from spirit. Okay, these come in as new beginnings or those improvements that you want in your life. The Ace of Cups can certainly open your heart, fill your heart with love, with blessings, with joy, and with peace. It can bring in some healing in your world. This also brings in a lot of happiness, okay, a lot of beautiful energy. So it could be that you, um, you know, you find what it is you're looking for, you find the piece of the puzzle, or you're just ready to start something new and embrace the changes and the wonderful things that are ahead for you. For some of you, the Ace of Cups, a new love Love, a new friend, new people. For others of you, it's repairing and healing the relationships and the situations in your life. Whatever it is, it brings excitement. The Page of Pentacles and the Page of Wands get excited. The pages quite often do bring um, new energy. They also bring improved energy as well. The next step, the next stage on your journey. Okay. Um, for some of you, you are very much off to the races. You're about to hit the finish line. For others of you, you're about the midway point. For others of you, you're just getting started. But wherever you happen to be, trust that you have the knowledge that you need. You have the opportunities unfolding for you to create and manifest and really follow your goals and your dreams. The page of wands is all about creating something, all about getting excited and taking action and moving forward, right? We're all moving forward, very for a lot of forward momentum in your reading. Okay, so new jobs, new loves, new people, new opportunities to create doors opening for you, portals opening for you, and we just got all of these great vibes. So when your when your guardian angel of encouragement um, flew out of the deck right at the very beginning of your reading. Wow. Uh, they're not kidding. Okay. So wherever your goals are, whatever your dreams are, whatever journey lays ahead for you, so much potential, so many things opening up for you. And I think there's something here that put a nice big smile on your face. Okay. Let's have a look and see what angel numbers are coming out for you. <clears throat> Eleven. Wow. <laughs> eleven. Eleven. Okay. Um. Jeez, Louise. Okay, that's awesome. Uh, let's just see. And just for the record, I cannot actually see these cards. I'm seeing exactly what you do. I don't face them towards me, so I'm gonna get that one too. Okay. So we have 1111. Okay, there we go. I am awakening. The universe is arranging people and experiences on your path to help you succeed and helping you wake up to who you truly are. I am awakening 1111, 1111, 1111, 1111 everywhere. Okay, get excited here, folks. We have number 10. It breaks down into a number one. Wow, you got a lot of ones coming out here. You have great leadership skills. Your mind is sharp and allows you to dream up ingenious ideas and organize all the details. Details, then direct others to carry things out. I am ingenious. Beautiful. All right. We also have 222 two, two coming out here for you. Trust that the seeds of your thoughts are growing as you are nourishing them with words, feelings, and action. I am balanced. And finally, we have here number 33, beautiful master number 33. Threes are also the basis of creation, right? And also we've got this three out here for you with the three of cups. Any positive change or projects that you're considering right now will be well worth your while. Expect that your power to manifest and create will be heightened. I am expanding. Holy moly. Okay, there's a lot of magic in the air for you. And, but look at, wow, look at this again though. We've got ones twos and then threes and that's the order that they came out and what do we have here ones twos threes and then we've got a four so 
is your time to shine. Okay. Believe in yourself. Follow your dreams. Keep on going. You are having, you are getting so much encouragement here um, with these messages. It's just not even funny. Um, okay. So let's get a couple last messages out here for you. Last messages, please. Two of these things, we there we go. Oh, three. Okay, so here's your first one action. Hmm, look at that. Drop all fear and just do it. You have the power to create and be whatever you truly want. Look inside your heart and take positive action in those things that bring you closer to achieving your desired goals. Nothing can stop you except your own fears. This card is positive confirmation from God and the angels that the time is right for you to start a new and exciting venture. Uh, there's the theme of your reading right there. Okay. And let's see what else we've got here. And we've got love. Wow. We've got that coming out for some of you too. Negative thoughts and feelings are sabotaging your pursuit of happiness. Uh oh, we, your angels are here to help you heal. Allow our healing light to flow through your heart. Consciously infuse each negative thought or feeling with love and light. Feel both your heart and mind aligning to your soul's sacred purpose and unleash your divine potential through the power of love. And your final message here, we've got a prayer card. So these are very powerful. Dear guardian angel, help me to believe that all is possible through love. Help me manifest my dreams and live an inspiring and fulfilling life. Help me to feel God's spirit angels presence in every moment. Help me feel eternally loved. Thank you for being always by my side very powerful prayer card affirmation card for you there so I'm gonna leave that there because I don't know that those messages get any more positive than what has come out for you guys okay so I hope there was something here that resonated with you on some level if so please hit like on this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and feel free to leave a comment in the box down below where are what do you want to pursue where are you in your journey so I thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time bye bye